Hello children. Today in this video we are going to learn about unitary method. What is unitary method? In order to understand that, let us begin with an example from a real life situation. School is about to reopen and Ravi needs a set of new pens for which he goes to the stationery shop. The shopkeeper is busy with other customers. So he takes out a packet of pens and tells Ravi to help himself. The packet had 10 pens but Ravi needed only 6. So he takes out the required number of pens and asks the shopkeeper how much to pay. Being busy, instead of telling him the cost of 6 pens, the shopkeeper told him that the cost of the packet is 30 rupees. And Ravi can calculate the cost of 6 pence himself and leave the change on the counter. Now Ravi didn't know what to do. He knew the cost of a packet of pence was rupees 30 but there were 10 pence in the packet and Ravi had bought only 6. He didn't know how much to pay for those 6 pence. And suddenly Ravi realized that it is not difficult after all. He just needs to know the cost of one pen. And he knows how to do that. Why? Because he has learnt division in school. Now he knows that if the cost of the 10 pens in one packet is rupees 30, then the cost of one pen will be 30 divided by 10 which is equal to rupees 3. And if the cost of one pen is rupees 3, then the cost of six pens is 6 into 3, which is equal to rupees 18. So, what did Ravi do? First, using division, he calculated the cost of one pen. Cost of 10 pens is 30. Therefore, cost of one pen is 30 divided by 10 equal to rupees 3. After that, using multiplication, he calculated the cost of the 6 pence. Cost of 1 pen is 3. Therefore, cost of 6 pence is 6 into 3 equal to rupees 18. His problem solved. Ravi happily kept rupees 18 on the counter and returned home. This method of using division to calculate the value of one quantity and then using multiplication to calculate the value of more than one quantity is called unitary method. In the example that you just saw, from the cost of 10 pence, Ravi used division to find the cost of one pen and then from the cost of one pen, Ravi used multiplication to calculate the cost of 6 pence. Let's do another example. Mary bakes 36 cookies in 3 days. How many cookies can she bake in 8 days? First, use division to calculate the number of cookies baked in 1 day. Number of cookies baked in 3 days is 36. Therefore, number of cookies baked in one day is 36 divided by 3 equal to 12 cookies. After that, use multiplication to calculate the number of cookies baked in 8 days. You know that the number of cookies baked in one day is 12. Therefore, number of cookies baked in 8 days is 8 into 12 which is equal to 96. Answer is 96 cookies. One more example. A worker earns rupees 852 in 4 days. How much does he earn in 7 days? First use division. Amount earned in 4 days is rupees 852. Therefore, Amount earned in one day will be 852 divided by 4 
which is equal to rupees 213. Next, use multiplication. Amount earned in one day is rupees 213. Therefore, amount earned in seven days is 213 into 7. And the answer is rupees 1491.